Okay, uh, I've managed to uh, locate that in into the uh, required hole. So e each of these levers more or less lines up with the uh, um, uh, what do you call them? The uh, the teeth on the it doesn't quite, but uh, that'll all uh, will sort itself out. But these uh, the uh, the um, detent levers, you, see, you can see them actually in line with the with the teeth on the wheels uh, right the next thing to do this uh, cup shaped piece here this goes uh, that way around just fits over the end of the shaft there it's just to keep it it's a dust cover and there's the spacer on the other end of the shaft that carries the detent levers Right, the this is the next the next tricky bit is uh, is uh, putting the uh, uh, end uh, plate back in position, and uh, so to do that, the uh, the um, detent lever shaft needs to line up with this hole, uh, uh, and the uh, the wheel shaft needs to line up with the uh, with the big hole in the bearing there. So this goes on, line up with the two shafts, and it requires a bit of a bit of jiggling. Ah, there we go. It, it, it just sort of yeah, I didn't catch that on camera, but it just sort of popped into position and before anything gets out of place uh, put these two rather rather vital screws I'll do this uh, off camera and then come back to you. Uh, I'll leave it running. It shouldn't take it shouldn't take me too long. Right, so the uh, the end plate is in place. All the uh, all the little detent levers move. The wheels freely rotate independently of one another. So the next thing to do is to uh, reinstall the springs that uh, that, that uh, hold the detent levers. Sorry, uh, attached to the ends of these levers. And keep them, uh, and keep this end pressed against the uh, against the cog on the the teeth of the wheel. Uh, right, so the uh, the trick is there. T turn the carriage upside down. Uh, there are eight springs, and there are three. gaps in the carriage and 
arrange them so that you, you're sort of dropping four of the springs down the big hole in the middle, two of the springs down at the one at the end, and just, and just hold the shaft in position with your finger. Uh, so there's the uh, all the springs, and uh, I'll have a, um, a piece of uh, bent wire and uh, hook the springs over the. <laughs> Yeah, there's one. So there's a there's a there's a spring in place, and just keep uh, Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll switch this off and I'll come back when I've got them all connected.